It's happened to all of us. You think you know someone, they make you laugh, they even make you cry. And then you find out that they're not who they say they are. No, I'm not talking about adoptive parents. I'm talking about mockumentaries. And they're tearing lives apart. I was watching The Office, thinking, you know, wow, this boss is really arrogant. And then after about 20 minutes, I realised it wasn't real. But it just looked like a documentary. <laughs> Why would you do that? Statistics show that mockumentaries make up a staggering 50% of Australian TV comedy. More than double the next category, footballers talking shit. And ordinary Australians like Justin just don't know what to believe anymore. So afraid of what's real and not real, Justin hasn't left his home in nearly six months. You go into a butcher shop and you think, yeah, is this really a butcher shop? Or just some wacky take on a butcher shop? You, you can't trust anything anymore. Where's the line? So you're a prisoner in your own home. A prisoner to mockumentaries. I'm trapped in a house with, with no contact with the outside world. You know, what are these TV types going to do about that? Make a TV show about it? I wouldn't put it past them. So just who are the perpetrators of this fraudulent art form? So-called comedians who don't even have the guts to play themselves. Richard Lakowski has written several mockumentaries for film and television. Look, I don't see what all the fuss is about. It's simple economics. In the old days, you needed two actors talking to each other, doing uh, dialogue. But then that became too expensive. Why have that when you can just have one actor talking to one camera? Or not even two camera, just slightly off to the side, like they're talking to an interviewer, uh, where you don't even need an interviewer. You just pretend there's an interviewer. <laughs> Dr. Kate McLennan goes one step further. She says people like Justin only have themselves to blame. Look, it's my job to inhabit a character. If people forget that it's just acting, well, that's not my fault. <laughs> do you really think viewers are that stupid? Yeah, I do. They're idiots. <laughs> well, how do we know that you're not playing a character now? Well, because I'm speaking normally. <laughs> You can spot a mockumentary character a mile off, you know, the glances off to camera, the overuse of cliches. You know, does it end with a shrug and an offhand comment that the character didn't intend the viewer to hear? Stupid mole. <laughs> so what was that? Nothing. But what stuck-up bitches like Kate McLennan don't realise is that her excuses don't undo the damage done to the little people like Justin. It's just not fair. You're the they're of getting famous pretending to be normal people while normal people are suffering. And if this is comedy, then I don't see the joke. This is Kate McLennan for The Mansion. Cut. Not too much? No, it was good. That was, that was good. good. Really good.